Yeah, we're at the track covering the sport of kings. Coming up in this week's show. Latest action from Jamaica's Caymanis Park with cup and trophy wins for the four-year-old Colt, Fearless Soul, and the three-year-old Philly Himaya closing a four-timer for leading jockey Tevin Foster. Barbadian jockey Rocco Bowen, a stakes winner at Thistletown, where he is the new champion jockey. A magnificent stakes triplet, Charlestown for Barbadian rider Rashawn Latchman. Added money wins two in Canada for TNT jock Karen Kelawan and Barbadian Enrico Prescott. A thrilling do her stakes finish at Newmarket in England. Plus the usual update on the number of Caribbean wins in North America. We're kicking things off in Jamaica. The Harlequin Cup, run in honor of the 1977 Horse of the Year and 2000 Guinness winner, was Saturday's richest race at Caymanis Park. And it was number four, the four-year-old Cole's sensational move with Dane Dawkins riding for trainer Gary Sabrati, going off favorite for the five furlong sprint over the straight course. Top contenders in the six-horse field, the two-horse ability, last year's Derby winner at five to two odds, Fearless Soul at five to one from post position three, Sensational Move, the four to five favorite in the four box, and number six, Madeline Sunshine, the second favorite at nine to five. Early in the sprint, it's Robert Hallettine in the blue cap aboard Ability that has a marginal lead, watched in the com box by ace race caller Brian Rickman. The spread across the track, fanning out as they're about to arrive at the three. It's still wide open. Ability may just be that leader over sensational move in between horses. Madeline Sunshine is nearest to us at the moment. Fearless Soul on the far side. These are the four main contenders as they come dashing past the quarter pole. Ability now asked to kick. Sensational move is the one who snatches a slim lead. Ability continues to battle in the center. Fearless Soul asked to run on the outside but it is sensational move holding on to the advantage surrounded now by fearless soul on the far side and nearest to us madeline sunshine it is sensational move and fearless soul now kicking in these two nose to nose and now fearless soul points and paul francis gets fearless home to win veteran jockey paul francis steers fearless soul home ahead of the favorite sensational move out of the damn rumble fearless soul a younger brother of former horse of the year further and beyond gets a fourth win this year under the care of 2022 Mute Mile winning groom Devon Biggs and Hall of Fame trainer Philip Fiani. Owned by Trinbagonian Balkrishan Sagan Maraj, Fearless Soul wins the Harlequin by a length, clocking 59.71 seconds, chased by Sensational Move and Madeline Sunshine. Saturday's co-feature was the Reggae Skanking Suite Trophy Race 2 in the BGLC Toba Millionaire Series with a bonus of 2 million Jamaican dollars, that's just over 12,600 US dollars, making it the richest ever three-year-old maiden race run at Caymanis Park. Here's the home stretch call with Kevin Burnside. They're at the top of the lane, and it is Blood Moon Himaya coming down on the outside. It's Blood Moon in front, Himaya threatening Blood Moon. It's left back against the rail, that is... Mila K and now Imaya strikes the front. It's Imaya. Blood Moon is still there fighting on. Coming down into it. That happy force. It's Imaya in front and traveling well. And Imaya trying to get there. Tebbing Foster looking for four. And I think he has it. Four on the day. Brilliant riding from Tebbing Foster. Tevin Foster completing a four-timer on the afternoon and nine wins in the last three race days to widen his lead to four over Radish Roman in their gripping jockeys title race. The Philly Himaya trained by Jason DaCosta, finally from 24 starts, gets her first win, coming off two second place finishes. The way she ran last week, you know, I, I, I said I had to give her a chance at the big, uh, at the big bonus, you know. So um, right now she's on top of her game and she, she performed very well today. I was pretty comfortable. I, 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 my instruction was um, to get a, a clean break and um, sit about third, fourth, um, comfortable. And whenever I'm ready, I just have to, have to run. And I did just that and she came on victorious. Elizabeth Lacosta's Himaya by three and three quarter lengths in the Reggae Skanking Sweet Trophy at five to one odds, upsetting more fancied rivals. The favorite Happy Four second and Blood Moon third. Himaya clocking 130.22 for the seven furlong run. Now, several Barbadian jocks have won championship titles at various tracks in Canada, but Rocco Point remains the only Bayesian with riding titles south of the border in the USA. And the 35-year-old added to his title log with a 2024 Thistledown Jockey's Crown, closing the season at the Ohio Racetrack with three wins late in the week, including Thursday's Emerald Necklace Stakes. Point has parley widest of all here and finishing best for the win. Top of the stretch. 
parlay moving up outside of Mooney Vent, who's drifting out a bit. Rail opens up for perfect eight and praise and glory. Parlay one furlong to go. She has the lead as Mooney Vent gives way. It's Parlay in front. Perfect date and praise and glory trying to catch Parlay. Parlay clear with 40 yards to go. And Parlay will wear the Emerald Necklace. A former Portland Meadows champion, Boyne was also Emerald Downs champion three years in a row from 2016 to 2018. And he steers Parlay to her first stakes victory. Scoring in the Emerald Necklace for two-year-olds by a length and three quarters as a one-to-five favorite, covering the six furlong sprint in 112.08 and chased by praise and glory and perfect date. Bowen tops the 2024 Thistledown Jockeys Championship table with 85 wins, 10 ahead of Luis Rivera, the champion for the previous four years, but he missed the last six weeks of the season with an injury. Bowen led the money table as well with Mount's earnings of 2.25 million US dollars. Another Barbadian making headlines this past week, jockey Rashawn Latchman with a stakes triple at West Virginia's Charlestown racetrack, including the $125,000 Cavada Breeders Classic. Latchman, who had earlier on the card won two $75,000 events, the Russell Road Breeders and Lottery Breeders, was aboard the front-running favorite Overnight Powwow. He led from the start, and his job now is to repel a cluster of rivals coming at him off the final bend. Overnight powwow to the top of the stretch in front. Hesica now finds some momentum and she begins to close in inside of Great Spirit. But Overnight powwow still on top and clear by two. Hesica tries to get to her. Overnight powwow digging in. Here comes Hesica surging. It's Overnight powwow and Hesica. Overnight powwow does it in the Cavada. Latchman uses Overnight powwow to deny the Cavada Breeders two-time defending champion Hesica with Antonio Lopez for the win. As a 3-5 to five favorite, overnight powwow beats Hesica by a length and a half. Latchman's 16th career stakes win in the USA this. The Philly clocking 126.88 for the 7 furlong trip for trainer Cynthia Mackey, who gave Latchman his other two stakes wins on Saturday's card. To Canada now, where Caribbean jock swept added money wins as well. The TNT rider Karen Kelowan at Hastings Racetrack and the Barbadian Enrico Prescott at Century Downs. Kelowan aboard the big favorite Someday Lady is solid down the home stretch here in the Glen Todd Fantasy Stakes at Hastings in Vancouver. Jamaican jockey Christopher Mamdeen on the inside, closing to get second in the eight and a half furlong run. Kelowan's third stakes win of the Hastings season that ended over the weekend, with Kelowan finishing third in the Jockeys Championship table, the best of the Caribbean riders, with TNT's brand Boudram Singh, Kimal Santo, and Ridge Balgobin, and the Jamaicans Mamdeen and Beb Harvey all earning top 10 spots. The 1 to 9 favorite Someday Lady wins the Glen Todd Fantasy Stakes by two and a quarter lengths for trainer Cindy Krasner, clocking 145.98 for eight and a half furlongs. The 26-year-old Barbadian Prescott got his added money win aboard the favorite Verratti in the Don Geddes Stakes at Centre Downs in southern Alberta. After grabbing the lead before the final turn, he was strongest down the home stretch for the win. Prescott's first stakes win among eight victories so far the meet, placing him second in the jockey's table for the short six-week Centre Downs season that ends in early November. Verratti with Prescott aboard for top trainer Craig Smith wins the Don Getty by two and a quarter lengths as a six to five favorite, covering the ninth furlong run in 152.90. And closing now with the story of the Darley Dewhurst stakes from Newmarket in England, one of Europe's biggest two year old races. Five runners face the starter in the seventh furlong run. Jockey Ryan Moore in the orange and blue silk threatening on the near side rail aboard the two horse expanded at 12 to 1, but is about to be tackled by the two Godolphin owned entries. And now on the near side, Ancient Truth coming there strongly, and the near side appear to have the advantage. Ancient Truth on the outside of Expanded. Over on the far side, Shadow of Lights come to Seagulls 11 as they make their way now with a furlong and a half to go. And on the near side, it is Ancient Truth in company with Expanded. Down the centre of the race called Shadow of Light and Seagulls 11. Expanded battling back at Ancient Truth. Shadow of Light trying to get involved as well. Ancient Truth, Shadow of Light out in the centre of the race course. Expanded trying to spoil the good open party. Shadow of Light. A really robust finish from the cold Shadow of Light under a left-hand drive by jockey William Buick. Edging Expanded and Ancient Truth in a tight finish. Just a half length separating the top three. The third time in six years, the combination of Jockey Buick and trainer Charlie Appleby scoring in the Dewhurst after Pinatubo in 2019 and Native Trail in 2021. Shadow of Light wins the Dewhurst by a neck as a 1-5 to five favorite, clocking 126.70 for seven furlongs on the new market turf. 
Our weekly tally of Caribbean wins in the USA and Canada now. Before we go, in the past week since our last show, I've counted 71 victories. Among them, the Jamaican jockey Kiaman McGregor, who had two stakes wins among seven victories that clinched for him the Grand Spas jockey's title in Oregon. Three wins for the Barbadian trainer Sappy Joseph Jr. at Gulfstream Park, where he is the champion and leading trainer. And a flurry of wins, including stakes victories at Lethbridge for the Jamaican jockeys Andre Powell, Trevor Simpson, Orlando Foster, and Blanford Stewart. We've been at the track covering top stories and exciting races in the sport of Kings. Check us out again next week.